Hello. I wanted to go over the initial formatting of the assignment one using Revit 2024, using our previous videos uh, discussing the use of crop boxes and scope boxes. Take a look at those videos before proceeding with this uh, set of steps. So I'm going to start a brand new project here and I'll use the multi-discipline template. Hit OK. And so here, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert a CAD file. And we're going to trace it for our very first assignment. But 2024 comes with a template here that controls the views. This is a crop box. It's black. Uh, you should be familiar with what a crop box does. And this green one here is a scope box. Uh, the scope boxes can be seen in 3D view. And there's two of them. This one here is called views overall. It controls what you see in the views. And this one here called grids and levels and will ultimately control uh, where column grid lines are located and the levels here. They're basically assigned to the size of that inner box. So you have two scope boxes. Floor plan. If I go to insert here and go to link CAD, I can bring in a floor plan here and you see here it says auto uh, origin to internal origin. And I hit OK. And it basically places the AutoCAD file's origin in the center of Revit's origin, which is somewhere in the middle of these crosshairs here. And you can see that it's out of sync. And you may have to uh, uh, deal with this in a, in, a, in a given project. Or you may have to adjust the locations of either this scope box or the one on the outside, because maybe the floor plan you're inserting to trace is much bigger than the screen currently allotted. Uh, in front of you here. So you might you might have that problem. Now, a quick way to solve this, this problem here is to basically, I'm going to undo. Control Z, it's undo. I'm going to go back and link CAD. And there's another option here. If I click the floor plan, it is center to center. Auto center to center. So automatically take the center of the AutoCAD file. It's going to find the center of the, the drafting in AutoCAD and place it in the center of the screen in Revit, which is uh, where those crosshairs were on the screen. And it's going to put the center to the center. Hit OK. It's going to put on level one. And you see here, everything works out fine. But uh, sometimes you're not this lucky. Sometimes the AutoCAD file is completely off the page. Sometimes it's mislocated. Uh, you need to be, under, be able to understand how to, how to adjust these settings here of the views and the crop box and scope boxes to have the drawing appear correct. And so it just so happens this works out. Let's, you can take this project and start working right now. But let's assume you weren't so lucky. Link CAD. I'm going to use origin, the internal origin, because I know it's going to be off the page. Let's assume that it's off the page. That floor plan here, open it. It's off the page, and you need to make an adjustment. We want to leave it there and adjust these scenes to be surrounding that floor plan. Or maybe that floor plan is so big that it's off the page, much bigger than this crop box here. So how do you deal with, with that situation? Now, I don't find these, these two very useful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on those to delete them. I'm also going to turn off the crop. So the crop is currently associated with a, a scope box. See here? The crop box is, is visible, this black box here. But under scope box, it's associated with the scope box. So the size of the crop, which is unique, one per view, is associated with the scope box called views overall. And the views overall scope box exists throughout the entire project. It's an invisible 3D box surrounding your entire project. It always exists. And, and you can control the, all the views simultaneously using that box, which is a good thing to have. But for now, I'm going to turn it off because I can't adjust the size unless I turn this thing off. Although, although, although I take that back. I mean, we could, we could adjust the size of the views overall scope box. Let's do that. Let's go 3D. You see the floor plan is over there, but the scope box is over here. So let's go to top view. And, and let, let's make it surround the building. So I'll just make it, basically make it surround the building. This is the outside box. There. Now it surrounds the building and you can adjust it accordingly. And if I go back to the floor plan here, it now surrounds the building. 
However, I lost other information around the outside of the building, so uh, I cannot locate those the elevation tags because they're off the screen. So how do I then see those elevation tags? This is another problem you might encounter. That's where I would have to turn off the scope box here and just use none so that this button here becomes active. If I choose none, it's now the crop button here is activated. I can turn it off so it does not work. Therefore, I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to tell this to be moved over to here. I'm going to click and drag your mouse, make a window around that one, drag it over there, make a window around that one, drag it over here, make, I'm going to zoom in here, can't quite see it, drag a window around that one, click, and use your mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit, and put it at the bottom of the page, so that it's pointing to the building. Actually, I did this wrong. I'm going to put this one down here, and I'll put, I will put this one up there. Done. They're surrounding the building. So as I build a 3D model, these elevation tags will look at the building from north, south, east, and west. That's their purpose. The last one here is the scope box called Grids and Levels. And it basically controls, if you look in 3D here, uh, this drawing plane. You're, you're doing your drafting on top of that plane. And that needs to be, ideally, surround your building. It can sit over here, but it's rather odd. So this plane is infinitely long and wide, but the the tag, the, this this little these little icons here, level one, level two, those tags, they only appear within the confines of that blue plane. And currently, I need to grab this box because they're kind of connected together. You see, as I move this this box here, the the floor levels are connected. They dictate the size of the visible plane. Again, that plane is infinitely long and wide. But in terms of the visibility of the tags, uh, they're only confined to this box here. That needs to surround the building, ideally. So let's do that. Let's go to plan view. Let's click on this box here and let's make it surround the building. So sure, we can basically just drag it over to here and drag it around there. And um, make sure you go inside here, drag it out here. And now it surrounds the building. Great. Now we've got a crop box on the outside that's cropping out anything outside of the borders. And then we've got this inner one here that controls this floating blue plane that you're drafting on top of. But we're not done yet. So let's, let's make sure this tag is over here. Let's grab this section box here and cut to the center of the building. It's arbitrary. It doesn't matter where you put it. You can fix it later. And so let's test to make sure that the um, that all the information is visible. So ZA is zoom all. Uh, there's nothing else on the page. So we're good there. So let's turn on the crop. So we go back to here. And basically we tell the crop region to be assigned to the scope box, the one called views overall. And so now if there was anything outside of this drawing, a neighboring building, a sidewalk, a street, um, the context in which the building is drawn in, they will all get cropped out. They'll all be hidden from view. Okay, so we're good there. However, the last problem is this. If you launch an elevation by double-clicking on the arrowhead here, or you simply navigate to the elevations here, and you launch one of these here by double-clicking, you're going to have a problem in that. Uh, you, you can see the CAD drawing sitting here on the ground, Eventually, you'll see the building, and uh, I will quickly prove that. I will simply draw a simple rectangular box on top of this, this floor plan to prove that if I double-click on this arrowhead, there's the building right there. So the building's present. The crop box is present. I can hide the crop box here, crop region visible. I can turn it off. I don't want to see it. However, the floor levels will be very, very useful to have. So what happened? So in 3D view, this box here controls the size of the levels. If I click on the level, you can see here that the level is assigned to the scope box called grids and levels. Therefore, the size of the visible plane, again, that plane is infinitely long, 
But the side that's visible on the screen currently is confined to this box here because they took they took this level and they said, you know, to make this control the size of this thing, use a scope box called grids and levels. Pretty smart for both levels and any future level. You need to do the same thing. So it's 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 confined to this area. That's fine. The trick is in plan view. If I click on the arrowhead, you're standing on this blue line looking downward toward the building. This is the north elevation. OK, you can see the architecture. What you cannot see is the drafting plane, the level plane, because it's this big. That box there controls the size of the levels, the visible levels. So this controls where you're standing, looking downward. They need to intersect. You need to pull that down and place yourself on top of where the blue level planes are located, basically within that border. And if, as soon as I do that, double click, you can see the level tags appear. And again, uh, uh, this is controlling the views. And there's another box inside of here that control. This one's called grids and levels. So this actually controls, you see, it controls where the levels are. You see the levels there? They control the size of the levels. Whether you do it here or you do it in 3D, they're controlling where these lines are located. And you want to keep those lines close to the building. You don't want them to be miles away, hundreds of feet away from the building. You want them close so you can read them. So all you have to do is go around the building and make sure that you click on each arrowhead and make sure this line is within this border. I'm going to make that border a little bigger. So click on there and drag this within that green border. Click on this one here. Uh, in fact, I made it a little tight, so I'm going to pull it out a little bit more. There. Click on the arrow once and drag this line where I'm standing and put it on top of this plane of glass, this level plane. And if I do it here, finally click, put this in there. And if I double click on that, I can then see those planes. And so that's all there's to it. OK, so this should get you to a place where you can start drafting a project. I've already formatted the views of uh, this is this scope box is already uh, this. This crop box is already controlled by the scope box called views overall. We're good. Uh, we're ready to rock and roll. OK. All right. Let me know if you have any questions on this topic. Bye now.